We worship the name of Jesus, the Son of God, God manifested in the flesh who came into this world to die on the cross for our sins. And here we are looking at this period of time here at um, the trial of Jesus. Thank you for joining me. We're in Luke 22 and verse number 66. The Bible says, when day came, the assembly of the elders of the people, this is Sanhedrin council, this was the Jewish um, council that was um, in charge and ruling over uh, Jewish life, Jewish civil life. And um, uh, the elders of the people gathered together both chief priests and scribes, and they led him away to their council. And, and they said, if you are the Christ, tell us. And Aldean knew very well that, that he had stated he is the Messiah. Everyone knew he was the Messiah. No one can work the kind of miracles that he did, you know, and not him be the Messiah. But he said to them, he says, if I tell you, if I tell you, um, you will not believe. Sometimes no matter what we say, no matter what we do, no matter how many arguments we can come up with, yeah, and you know, and, and logic and reason, there's some people that still not believe. Here was Jesus coming into the world, never sinned, who lives an upright life. His words are words of wisdom like he never heard before. Words ring of truth. The miracles that he's working, demons, uh, people are being set free from demonic powers. Lives are being changed. He walks on water. He multiplies fish and bread and feeds a multitude. He, he says, peace be still, and the winds are calm, the waves are calm. He works so many miracles. And um, he says, if I tell you, you will not believe. You just don't want to believe. You just don't want to believe. And, and no matter how much arguments we can come up with and, 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 and uh, discussion and, and so on and trying to encourage people to look to Jesus and, and understand the gospel. Listen to what he's saying. Listen to what the Bible says. Many have made up their minds they will not believe. We still got to continue to tell them. But many have already made up their minds they're not going to believe. And uh, he says, but if I ask you, you will not answer. But from no one, the Son of Man shall be seated at the right hand of the power of God. He says, you don't want to believe, but he says from now, the Son of Man. And Son of Man in comparison to the Son of God, somebody thinks Son of God um, is more closely aligned to Jesus' deity than the phrase Son of Man. But actually, the Son of Man is a powerful phrase that speaks to the deity of Christ. It um, links Jesus to the to the words of Daniel in his vision, where he saw the Son of Man seated at the right hand of the Father. So when Jesus used this phrase, he's actually connecting himself with God. And he's actually saying that he's God. From no one, the Son of Man shall be seated at the right hand of the power of God. So they said, are you the Son of God then? And he said to them, you say that I am. Then they said, what further testimony do we need? We have heard it ourselves from his own lips. They knew this was blasphemy in their eyes that, well, if a man makes himself to be God, that is blasphemy. But they knew exactly what he was saying, that he is God. He is God. And so they were ready to kill him for that. He's telling them, I am, I am the Christ. I am the Messiah. I am the Savior. I am the Son of Man. I am the Son of God. I am God. But they didn't want to believe that. And many people today in the world still do not want to believe that Jesus is the Son of God and he is the Savior. God has sent only one Savior into the world, that is Jesus. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. There's only one person who died on the cross for us, and that's Jesus. We live in a world where there is pluralism, and um, every belief system is given equal merit, regardless of the evidence, regardless of the historicity, regardless of the logic. Um, but Jesus said, he, he, he didn't play around with the words. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And as Christians, we need to hold our own and not succumb to pluralism that is in our society. Truth by nature is exclusive. And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He's the one who died on the cross for our sins. So let us be strong in our faith, be firm in our conviction, 
as to Jesus being um, the Savior, the Savior. Amen. Lord bless you.